Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Em. In today's video, I will be walking you through a note app which I feel like my most favorite note-taking app at the moment and it's GoodNotes. I already did a walkthrough on this in my previous video using the MacBook GoodNotes, but this time I will be using my iPad 9th gen which is best compatible with GoodNotes in my opinion. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. GoodNotes is now free to download but is limited to only three notebooks and some tools. So at first, you can give it a try and see if it suits your needs. So to enjoy everything GoodNotes has to offer, you can purchase one time for 449 pesos and you can use it across all your Apple devices. So this I think is already a good deal because other note apps is on subscription like Notability, and others has separate prices for each devices like Zoom Notes. So GoodNotes is a paid note-taking app and it's probably the most popular or should I say the most used note-taking app alongside Notability. This is widely used by students or anyone who loves digital note-taking or digital planning. So I use GoodNotes basically for my Korean class and digital planning but before that, let's get familiarized with the settings and tools in this note app. When you open the app, this homepage will appear. On the top right corner, you'll see first the pop-up shop icon. So in here, you can purchase planners, paper styles or templates, notebook covers, and stickers. You can also give feedback if you want to. Next is a notification bell where you'll be notified when actions such as new comments are added in a shared document. The next is the select icon. Here you have an option to export documents, duplicate, move to other folder, and delete files. In the settings icon, you can add notebook templates, which I'll be showing you later on. Next, you can choose the language for handwriting recognition, so there are a total of 17 languages to choose from. For the document editing settings, you can enable the following options. First is the automatic screen lock. You can also have an option to remove the status bar on top. Pull to add a page so you can add the same template from the previous one you used by pulling to either side of your current page. You also have an option to show a page number which is on the bottom left of your page. Then you can choose where to place your toolbar either at the top or bottom of your workspace. Then we have the scrolling direction either horizontally or vertically. Then the last are the three options down here. Now for the stylus and palm rejection settings, you can enable the single finger panning, choose the sensitivity level of your palm from low, medium, and high, and also your writing posture. One of the great features of GoodNotes is the auto sync to iCloud and the auto and manual backup options. So here you can choose the cloud storage of your choice. If you enable the PDF and handwriting notes indexing option, you can search words within your notebook whether it's typewritten or handwritten texts. Now in the homepage, you can sort your files by date, name, and type. And this list icon lets you change your view type either list view or thumbnail view. So down here are your documents tab, your search, shared, and favorites tab which is the ones with the stars or bookmark documents or folders. So to add a favorite, just tap the star on the upper right corner of your folder or covers. So to start making notes, just tap on new. So you can choose which from these you want to create. You can create notebooks and folders, add images, scan documents, take photo, import files like PDF documents or planners, and create quick notes. For now, let's create a new notebook. You can choose covers from the limited options, so we have the common ones, the simple covers like the Muji style, the solid colors, black and white, enclosed covers, the bright ones, the celebration covers, the brown covers, the plain ones, and lastly, the pattern covers. So on the other hand, for the paper style, there are the common paper styles like the dotted, squared and cornel, the planner papers, and the music sheets. In the middle, you'll see the option for templates. 
You can choose the paper color, so there are a total of three colors to choose from, the black, white, and yellow paper. Next is the paper size options. You can also change the orientation or layout of your paper and the language. Just don't forget to name your notebook up here and then tap on create. So up here you can see the other open documents, but you can close them if you don't need them as of the moment. The toolbar in GoodNotes is very simple and easy to use. So first is the pen tool which has three pen styles to choose from. The fountain pen which you can adjust the sharpness and pressure sensitivity. Then the ball pen which is commonly used in digital note taking. And the brush pen which you can also adjust the pressure sensitivity. Down here you can enable the draw and hold option to draw perfect shapes and lines. You can also add fill colors to your shapes. If you want to change the color and stroke size of your pen, you can customize them here. Just tap and then choose from the presets or from the palette or color wheel or even type in the color code you want. And then just tap the plus sign here to add them to your presets and you can also move your colors anywhere on your presets. You can set up to three colors and three stroke sizes. Next is the eraser tool. There are three styles for this. First is the precision eraser. So you can choose the sizes over here. From the name itself, you can erase strokes precisely or erase the small details. Next is the standard eraser, which is more like erasing segment per segment. And then lastly, the stroke eraser for erasing the whole strokes. Down here, you have an option to erase the highlighter only or clear the whole page. Next tool is the highlighter. So drawing a straight line is a must in highlighting text, so let's enable this one. There's only one type of highlighter, which is the round tip. The options for colors and sizes are the same with the pen tool. You can also overlap colors in highlighter tool. For the shape tool, you can't however draw a heart, but you can draw a star and other basic shapes. You can also enable the fill color for the shapes. The lasso tool is one of my favorites in GoodNotes or basically for digital note taking. You can select handwriting, images, text boxes, or comments, or any combination you prefer. And then select by freehand, hold for a second or two, and these options will appear. So you can cut, copy, and paste your selection anywhere on your page, delete, resize, change the color, Take a screenshot, you can even add it to your element and use it again and again. And a great feature is that you can convert your handwriting to type written text. However, you still need to copy and paste the converted text to your page. Next is the element tool. So this is basically your stickers. So you can import from your gallery or you can just draw on your page just like we did earlier and using the lasso tool just add it to your element. To add images, you can tap the media tool and add photos from your gallery or take a photo. Another way is by dragging from the internet using the split view of your iPad. You can cut, copy and paste, crop the photo, share, add to element, and even add comment on it. You can also resize the photo or delete it. A note app isn't complete without a text tool. So to use the text tool, just tap anywhere on your page to begin typing. You can use either the keyboard of your iPad or use an external keyboard if you have one. Another easy way is to scribble to text. Just handwrite outside the text box and it will convert your scribbles to typewritten texts. You can also draw a straight line between letters and words to remove or add a space. Up here are the different fonts you can choose from. You can also import other font styles. 
Then we have the font size, the paragraph options, the font color, and the text box styles. Another useful tool when writing is the zoom tool. Place the blue square anywhere you want and start writing on the space provided here. You can also zoom in and out depending on how close you want it to be. But if you're having a hard time using this, you can just write directly on your page and zoom in from the page itself. Next is the laser tool which is useful in your shared documents. We're done with all the toolbars, so now let's head on to the icons up here. I'm going to start with the icons on the upper right. So we have the undo and redo icons. In the add page icon, you can add paper style before and after your current page or even on the last page of your notebook. You can also add more templates here. You can add images, scan documents, take photo or import files before or after your current page or on the last page. Next icon is for those documents with hyperlinks like for example your digital planners. Then the three dots here are your more options icon. You can copy, rotate, add to outline, change the template of your current page. You can also type in the page you want to go and you can clear and delete your current page. These options down here I already mentioned on the first part of the video. Now on the upper left corner are the following icons. First is the pages icon where you can view all the pages of your notebooks or your PDF documents. You can also see all your favorites and outlines of your documents. If you want to switch the position of any of your pages, just tap, hold, and drag that page. You can also tap the select over here and you'll have an option to copy, rotate, export, move, and delete your selected pages. Next is the search icon. So both words from your PDF documents and handwritten text are searchable. Now to add bookmarks, just tap the bookmark icon here. Or to mark them easily and faster, you can go to the pages icon and select every pages you want to tag important. Lastly, the share and export icon. This is also one of the great features of GoodNotes. You can share a link to collaborate, export your current page or all the pages of your notebook as PDF, and a good thing is that you can choose to export PDF as flattened or editable document. Next is export as image and GoodNotes file which you can import to your other Apple devices. You can also print a selection or the whole page of your notebook directly from your iPad. PDF annotation is also possible in GoodNotes. You can also export the PDF document with the annotation you made. I haven't shown you the flashcards in my previous video so to make the flashcards on your iPad or any Apple device, Tap create a new notebook and then go to the essentials category of your paper. Just bear in mind that the paper size should be the good notes standard only. And on the last part, you can see the flashcard papers in white, yellow, and black color. The upper part is the question you want to ask and the lower part of the paper is for the answers from the question. Then to add another flashcard, just pull to the left. Now to study your flashcards, go to the three dots up here and select the study flashcards on the very bottom. To reveal the answers, tap on the flashcard and these options will appear. Once you finish all, you'll see this congratulations page plus the pie graph of your result. You have an option to restart your flashcards or if you're done, just hit done. So there are a lot to love and a very few cons of good notes on iPad and here are some.
Okay guys, that's it. I hope this video was helpful and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.